Europe and the people without history. One language. Main article, Political Economy in Anthropology. Europe and the People Without History is a book by anthropologist Eric Wolf. First published in 1982, it focuses on the expansion of European societies in the modern era. Europe and the People Without History is history written on a global scale, tracing the connections between communities, regions, peoples and nations that are usually treated as discrete subjects. 1. A Global History, Edit The book begins in 1400 with a description of the trade routes a world traveler might have encountered, the people and societies they connected, and the civilizational processes trying to incorporate them. From this, Wolf traces the emergence of Europe as a global power, and the Reorganization of particular world regions for the production of goods now meant for global consumption. Wolf differs from world systems theory in that he sees the growth of Europe until the late 18th century operating in a tributary framework, and not capitalism. He examines the way that colonial state structures were created to protect tributary populations involved in the silver fur, and slave trades. Whole new tribes were created as they were incorporated into circuits of mercantile accumulation. The final section of the book deals with the transformation in these global networks as a result of the growth of capitalism with the Industrial Revolution. Factory production of textiles in England for example transformed cotton production in the American South and Egypt, and eliminated textile production in India. All these transformations are connected in a single structural change. Each of the world's regions are examined in terms of the goods they produced in. The global division of labor, as well as the mobilization and migration of whole populations, such as African slaves, to produce these goods. Wolf uses labor market segmentation to provide a historical account of the creation of ethnic segmentation. 2. Where world systems theory had little to say about the periphery, Wolf's emphasis is on the people without history, i.e., not given a voice in Western histories and on how they were active participants in the creation of new cultural and social forms emerging in the context of commercial empire. 3. Mode of Production Analysis, Edit Wolf distinguishes between three modes of production, capitalist, kin-ordered, and tributary. Wolf does not view them as an evolutionary sequence. He begins with capitalism because he argues our understanding of kin-ordered and tributary modes is colored by our understanding of capitalism. He argues they are not evolutionary precursors of capitalism, but the product of the encounter between the West and the rest. In the tributary mode, direct producers possess their own means of Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF production, but their surplus production is taken from them through extra economic means. This appropriation is usually by some form of strong or weak state. For, in the kin-ordered mode of production, social labor is mobilized through kin relations such as lineages, although his description makes its exact relations with tributary and capitalist modes unclear. The kin mode was further theorized by French structuralist Marxists in terms of articulated modes of production. The kin-ordered mode is distinct again from Salin's formulation of the domestic mode of production. 5. References, Edit 1 Carrot Rosebury, William, 1989. 
European history and the construction of anthropological subjects in Anthropologies and Histories, Essay in Culture, History and Political Economy New Brunswick, N.J. Rutgers University Press P. 125 2. Carrot Rosebery, William, 1989 European History and the Construction of Anthropological Subjects in Anthropologies and Histories, Essay in Culture, History and Political Economy New Brunswick, N.J. Rutgers University Press pp. 1279 3. Carrot Rosebery, William, 1989 European History and the Construction of Anthropological Subjects in Anthropologies and Histories, Essay in Culture, History and Political Economy New Brunswick, N.J. Rutgers University Press P. 130 4. Carrot Rosebery, William, 1989 European History and the Construction of Anthropological Subjects in Anthropologies and Histories, Essay in Culture, History and Political Economy New Brunswick, N.J. Rutgers University Press pp. 1312 5. Carrot Rosebery, William, 1989 European History and the Construction of Anthropological Subjects in Anthropologies and Histories, Essay in Culture History and Political Economy New Brunswick, N.J. Rutgers University Press P. 135 Categories, 1982 Nonfiction Books Anthropology Books 20th Century History Books Cultural History English Language Books History of Globalization Big History Books about the Industrial Revolution Books about Imperialism Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF.